Salutation citizens, Jackman here, bringing you Resident Evil the HD Remaster. And unfortunately, this title card isn't up long enough for me to make a j- oh, damn it. Resident Evil. Haha. <laughs> oh, I love that guy's voice. It's not the same, but, uh, it's still cool. Oh, they've got the, oh, that's interesting, they've got the BSA. I wonder if that's unlocked because I've got like Resident Evil 5 or something on here. Or Resident Evil. Or, you know, I wonder if it can detect my. I'll have to check that. Maybe. I wonder if it detects my save file for Resident Evil 5 and goes, oh, you've unlocked some new costumes. That's pretty cool. But we'll play. I'm going to play old school Jill. There we go. Because as much as I do like uh, Chris and Barry's campaign. That's Chris and Barry's. Chris and Rebecca's campaign. Jill's campaign doesn't have Barry. And uh, I like Barry, so it's the obvious choice. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our... I have... Should point out, I have played this before. I played the GameCube version pretty much as soon as it came out. I haven't played it since, though. So it's... I, I, but I have played the original Resident Evil and Bizarre Resident Evil Director's Cut, so... I'm pretty well accustomed with this game, and I'm also a massive fan of Resident Evil generally, so I know quite a lot. Uh, I might do this as a full play. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I, I'm, gonna, I, 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 I'm excited to play this, but again, it's a game I've already played before, so there's a chance that my excitement might peter out before I uh, get too far in. So I thought, I'll play a couple of hours, see how I feel, and if I want to keep playing, turn it into a full play. If I don't, I'll cut it down into a Jackman Plays episode, so... If I turn it into a Jackman Plays episode, this message won't be here, and you won't hear it, so... Now... Annoyingly, the pilot of the Bravo team is the only member of Stars I can't remember the name the for. Um, and it turned into is it Kevin Dooley? No, that doesn't nightmare. sound right. Kevin Dooley, I think, is the guy who was cut out but was in Resident Evil Zero. Uh, I can't remember. I know the rest of these guys. It's Joseph Frost. It helps that his name's in the top left corner. Jill Valentine, obviously. Brad Vickers in the helicopter. Albert Wesker. I'm not going to sit here just naming all the different people. I'll name them as I go. I do know them all. I like Joseph. I would have liked a game... I don't know I first played this, and I, I really like the idea of stars. I would really like a prequel game where you play as the members of Alpha Team. Not a zombie game. Just like a game pre-zombies, where you play as the members of stars in... I don't know, something else. My voice hasn't 100% recovered, by the way, which is why I went a bit squeaky there. You all might still hear that. I'm better than I was, but it's still a bit... yeah. Ah, oh, the Cerberus. But it's still... I mean, these guys are trained professionals. And, I mean, even if they're zombie dogs, she's just staring. This is not... I wouldn't want Jill Valentine backing me up. It's like, oh, thanks, Jill. I've been torn apart by dogs, and you're just sitting there staring. Great, thanks. Yeah. Good job, Joe. I mean, yeah, Joseph was dead the moment one of those dogs hit bit him. But it, it's, you know, still, put some effort into it, Jill. It's not that difficult. Come on. Oh. There goes Chicken Heart. And... Barry! Boom! Oh, no, is that Wesker? I can't remember which one saves you. Oh, yeah. I'm playing as Jill, so Brad... Oh no, Brad, uh, Barry is in this um, cutscene. He just disappears before he gets to the house. Yeah, they do use the same FMV, regardless of who you're playing as. Like I said, it's been a while. I can't quite remember everything that happens in this game. Um, and that's true for the... Oh, I love these little bits. It, uh, it's just like... Oh, I thought it was longer than that. I remember the one in Resident Evil 2 being a few lines long. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. I do remember, like, the bulk of this what game, this but individual, like, item locations and things like that are sketchy house. on. That's for sure. Uh, so, we'll see how I get on. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't I wish want to this, go back out there. I wish this game had the option oh, for the original voice acting. It wouldn't really work, but Chris. it would no. be nice. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. 
Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay I don't know what it says as well, by the way, that you, all four of you can run towards... Those doorknobs are massive. I don't know what it says about Chris, that you can run towards a mansion and somehow three of you can go in the front door, but the fourth member somehow gets lost somewhere. I don't know what that says about their sense of direction. I say the fourth member because if you're playing as Chris, it's Barry that gets lost. So it's... It's just... I don't know how you could get that can that lost that quickly. Yes, I will. I need ink ribbons to write on typewriters because this game has a very archaic system. I'm using the new controls as well, by the way, because I thought I'd try them out. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I still can't move what I aim, but uh... oh, this looks pretty. I'm playing on the Xbox 360, by the way, so it's only 720p because. Uh, as much as I would have liked to play this on Xbox One and seven, uh, 1080, I can't record in 1080, so it wouldn't have mattered. Look at this. What is um, I say that because my laptop is awful, and the fact that I'm recording on a laptop should give you an indication. But yeah, it kind of struggles with 1080p, so which is why all my videos are in 720. So I figured, might as well play it on the Xbox 360 version. So. I really, really love Barry Burton, by the way. He's probably my favourite Resident Evil character. I'm very happy to hear that he's back in Revelations 2. Okay. You, you're going to send... No, okay, he doesn't send... I thought... It's kind of weird that he said that. Barry Burton, by the way, little known fact about Barry Burton. It's never been reported. He can analyse bloodstains... Well, with his naked eye, that's why he's quite happy to content sitting there staring at them for a while. Because, you know, normally someone would look at a bloodstain and go, well, that's definitely blood. Um, I guess that's really all I'm going to get from this. No, I won't run down there because I think that might trigger the zombie and I want the cutscene to trigger. So this is probably one of the most iconic moments in Resident Evil. It's uh, our friend Kenneth J. Sullivan getting his... Oh, they did, did they do that? Oh, no, they don't show the head coming off in uh, this version. I'm not going to shoot him. Waste of bullets. And besides, it means I get to... The... No, this cutscene happens. It actually, like I said, this cutscene happens either way. If you kill it, it, it this this happens anyway. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! It might happen slightly differently, Let me take but... um. Yeah. Barry Burton, a man who loves killing so much that he can shoot a zombie in the head three times with a hand cannon and not kill it. That's how expertly he aims his shots. He just manages to kill it. Just manages to hit it in exactly the right way so that it won't die straight away. Now, let me go back out. Uh, I got a report to Wesker. Well, I don't know. There's a clock ticking, so I don't. Know. Yeah, that is a puzzle for later on. Let's go talk back to Wesker. I'm sure Wesker will still be there. I mean, uh, yeah. see, I'm more familiar with the original game. Uh, I think I only actually played the remake once. Where'd it go? That is kind of odd, though, for a zombie to get up and walk out when there are two. I mean, actually, if, if thinking about it, that means that Barry is so awful at killing zombies, he can shoot it in the head three times and still not kill it. With a hand cannon. Wesker! Barry is all. Barry is rubbish. Um. In fairness, of killing zombies. Help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. I think that's evidenced by the fact that you run around this entire uh, entire game with Barry. You gonna stand there, Barry? Or are you gonna actually look around? You literally just gonna look around. Okay. Well, I just need to do a lap. Of oh no, he's he's gonna move around. Okay, good. I just need to do a lap of the hall. 
There's the new area added for the remastered edition. Oh, can I? I can push by around. All right, go check out front. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't really. Maybe if I had tank controls on, I could uh, knock him around a bit, but. Uh, I can't remember. Do I just have to check all the doors or. Oh, maybe I have to nip upstairs. Oh, I love this mansion's uh, entryway. It's just so cool looking. Oh. Capcom did a good job on this. I mean, even just playing these sorts of previous little sections here. It's clearly this game looks a lot better than the GameCube version. I mean, it would. I mean, it's been 12 years. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate yeah. the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, come on, Barry. Say the. Diff oh. Yeah, here it comes. But he's not going to do it exactly right. You'd make better use of it. Yeah. I may need it. Listen. Something happened. Yeah, they took out the master of unlocking line. I was disappointed with that. Okay. A lot of what made me like Barry was his silly dialogue in the first game. I mean, Jill Sandwich. Master of unlocking all of that is, uh, oh, I guess, the uh, thing. Right, I think if you examine it though. Oh, I thought he said it had the master of unlocking um, line when you check the lockpick out. That's a shame. I miss these screens. Not enough games have have screens where you can just look at items and get them to do stuff. I mean, this is this is. I, I mean, there are some. There is a repurpose for this, by the way. There are puzzles that you have to solve later on that involve it. So, oh, uh, let's do the dog corridor. By the way, I part of me is glad that they added they they kept the door opening scene in in the original PlayStation. If for some reason you're not familiar with the original Resident Evil, which you should feel bad about, if on the original Resident Evil you... No, oh, no, Jill, round that side, thank you. If you had... Um... Okay. Oh, no, I remember to do this now. It's been a while, okay, leave me alone. Actually, I think that's not enough. Uh, as I was saying, if you uh, play... Damn it, I keep pressing A and that's to climb up. I keep, uh, I just have to walk into it to push it. If you played the original, the door uh, opening animation was added to... Um, it was basically those to hide the loading times. So that you couldn't tell that the... Each scene was opening. Well, you could tell, but it was kind of masked a little bit. And I've pushed that too close to the door. God damn it. Like I said, I remember these puzzles, but I'm a bit out of practice with them. I'm going to leave and come back in and reset the puzzle. If you... Oh, actually, while we're back in the hall, let's trigger this cutscene, because... And... Uh, dogs! Oh, I forgot they come in. Yeah, I forgot they. Uh, right. No, I'm not gonna waste ammo on you. Just go away. Oh, I am. Oh, oh, hang on. These new controls. There we go. Ooh. See, in the original, you open that door, the zombie dog stuck its head in, and you shut the door on it. In this, they've made it so that the zombie gets the zombie dog gets through because Jill is useless. Ah. 
I am. A, I'm going to just write this down. There we go. I am a bigger fan, by the way, of Chris than Jill. Um, but I am a bigger fan of Barry than Chris. So my my hands are tied. I think I've pushed that too far forward. Yeah, let push that back again. So yeah, the, oh no, still not far enough. Okay. The door opening animations were added in to hide the loading times. And they were good. They, they, they built suspense for the next area. And it's cool that they left them in. At the same time, I do kind of wish you could skip them. I think they made it so that you could skip them in the 3DS version of this. Uh, which no one played. Because, why would you? Might even have been the DS version, I can't remember. There you go, I got the map. That's why, that's why I keep all of my maps in the pots on my statues. Now, I think there's a zombie in here. Is there a zombie in here? No, maybe he comes in when I pick this up. Oh, right, let's get this. This is defensive items. This was another thing added into the... Uh, added into the remake. Left button, okay. And I think I get attacked walking out of here. I've got, I've got my knife equipped. Didn't hear anything. There we go! Yeah. It's a zombie, Jill. Try not to be too useless. Yay! Thank you, Achievement, for letting me know that I've killed my first zombie. Although, you know when the zombie's dead because you walk through it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any lighter or oil, so... Uh, but he's, he's fine. I'm sure he won't get up later on in the game after I pass a certain point. Wait, hang on, I've lost my bearings. Which way? Oh, I run into this. There we go. Very fixed camera angles. I love them, but I, I also am not used to them, having not played a, a game like this for a while. Now, I have a bit of trouble with that dog back there, so... Hopefully, I used to be able to just... Oh. Okay, forgot you needed a key for this area. Right. Uh, is this dog still going to be here? Hopefully, he's buggered off. No, I can still hear him pacing around. I think. Uh, oh, do I not? I don't have any ammo. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. No, I don't have any ammo to reload, so. It's locked. It's sword key. So this is the thing I mean. I know where to go, but I can't remember exactly how to... Uh, Armor key. Can't quite remember the order in which I have to do things in. That's not from the side. Can I go this way? Yes, I can go through this one. Okay. But yeah, I like the door opening animations, but at the same time, I they will great on me. Uh, I imagine I I will want to skip them at some point, but for now they're okay. Oh yeah, I can hear you. I got puzzles to do here, man. Uh, I am almost out of ammo. Yes, I am. Okay, let's equip the knife because I only have one bullet left. And really, I, cause I, I just I'm sat there thinking, oh man, I wish there was some sort of anime thing you could do to enemies when they're down. And I just remembered that's what you're supposed to do is just stab them with a knife when they're down. Like I said, I'm a little rusty, so give me a break for you know forgetting the fundamentals. I remember this puzzle though. I'm also pretty sure there's another zombie on the other side of this uh, thing, but he hasn't come shown up yet, so... There we go. Is there another zombie? I thought there was another zombie over the other side. Maybe there isn't. Maybe he come back. he'll come back. Maybe he spawns in later on. Yes. I 
think there's anything else in this area. Uh, that's locked. Another sword. And that's locked from the other side. Okay, well I've done the only thing that I can do in this room for the time being, so that's that's one thing. So yeah, I, I, I've downloaded this game. I know you're not you're not actually loading it, so just, you know, let me skip the... Oh, dear. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to have trouble with this. Uh, I don't know if I can knife a dog. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I've made a terrible mistake from the, from the get-go. I will have to take care of that dog at some point, but I just don't want to knife a dog. Should I save? I'm doing really badly so far. This is this is an awful start. Um, yeah, why not? We might as well save. We've got three of the blue things. Okay. Thank you. Let me know my save was successful. It's very appreciated. I don't really need this yet, and it's probably going to... Well, I'll just take up space in my inventory until I find an item box. But while I'm on that subject, I hate the item box. I think that was one of the two main things I think Capcom should have changed when they remade this game. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot this was a puzzle as well. I need to swap this round. Yes, thank you. I did forget that I had to examine it, though. Uh... Do I have to examine it? Or do I have to examine the one I swap it with? I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, I hit the item box. That was what I was saying before I got distracted momentarily there. It's... They, there's no reason for it to be in the game anymore. It, it is just the worst. Sorry, I can't take any more damage, so... Ah! I, okay, I thought that was a one-hit kill. Guess not. Can my knife back, please? Okay. Um, will you hold on to them? I guess. Okay, really thought the defensive dagger was a one-hit kill. I'm really doing badly here. This is... This is not good. I am not good at this game. I mean, I don't remember being great at this game, but at the same time, I don't remember being quite as bad as this at the game. Let's go see our friend Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. Oh yeah, that was something they added in as well. Yeah, Kenneth's got a camera on his head. I think he had that in Resident Evil Zero as well. That was a cool little addition. Yeah, his head's supposed to come off. I'm upset that they took that out. I remembered that being... In the original, he bit his head and the head kind of came off. He bit through his neck and the head rolled off. I suppose they thought, nah, that's, that's silly. Biting all the way through a neck? Pfft. Who would do that, such a thing? Oh, I love this. Fr I love the fixed camera angles. I mean, look at this. I've got no idea what's in this room just from looking at this camera angle. And of course, uh, I'm so used to tank controls. I press up to go forward, but I have to press down. Also, notice that Jill's got quite a bit more jiggle. I don't remember Jill having uh, any jiggle. I mean, she certainly didn't in the original. Oh yes, please. And some hoibs. Oh, are you going to get up? No, okay, you're just a scientist. You'll probably get up at some point, I imagine, because... Uh, why wouldn't you? And... Yeah, we've got some hoibs, or herbs, as you say, across the pond.
Oh, poor little raven. Hmm. Ah, damn it. These new controls are awkward. They, they work in some places, but the, the fixed camera angles, they, they become a bit... Hmm. They work and they don't work. At least with tank controls, you hold for you go in the you hold forward and you go in the direction you're facing. That works quite well with the. No. So I got distracted by the mirror because I know that when I step forward. No, I thought. I should probably heal myself, actually. Uh, I'm in caution, so let's... There we go, back to fine. Green herbs, by the way. Uh, they... I'll try not to um, start too many tangents and then get distracted by things, but it does happen. Yeah, the the idea of this, these herbs grew wild, grew wild in the Arclay Mountains, and that's why they were in Resident Evil One, and that's why they were in Resident Evil Two, and Resident Evil why they made sense to be in Resident Evil No, Resident Evil One and Zero, and why they made sense to be in Resident Evil Two and Three. So you can see a zombie in the mirror there. Mm. Framing, good. But then when you get to things like Resident Evil Four and Five, and you got further, you know, why why are herbs that are native to the Arclay Mountains, suddenly in uh, Spain. Damn it all! It... I'm not great with fighting with a knife, uh, evidently, as you can clearly, clearly see. I don't know why I'm fighting with a knife, because I do have some pistol ammo, but I suppose I should get... Ah, uh, yeah, there I go. And munched. Yeah, I'm not great at this. Uh, <laughs> get used to it. Thank you, game. I am dead. Well, so that was Resident Evil. Should probably just stop there. My no death run ended in failure. No, of course not. We'll, do, we'll work back up and try again. Okay, round two, asshole. And then... Dead? Oh, okay. Well... That went a lot more successfully, didn't it? Yep, see, guns. Unfortunately, as well, they like I said, lots of people do knife-only runs in this game. I'm just not very good at this game to be able to do that. Yep, sure, we'll tell you just grab items at willy-nilly at the moment for the time being. I will indeed. And uh, there is a way... Which button is that? There we go. Now, hopefully, that doesn't screw me out. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. It just... I don't think that was in the original game. I think you had to expend all your ammo. So let's. Uh, yeah, so they added the reload in thing, which is, which is a good addition. Uh, I mentioned the item box, thinking about additions, uh, as one of the things. This dude, by the way, he will get up later on as a crimson head zombie. That was the other thing they added in. Uh, and crap, I should have picked these herbs up and combined them first. Um, Oh yeah, I didn't. I, I still have my uh, defensive items this time as well because I didn't bother fighting the other zombie, so that's quite handy. The item box of one of those things I think they should have just taken out because the item box is it's there's no point to it. The difference between the item box and having an in, like an infinite inventory, say like Silent Hill two or something. Oh, I remember this room. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Okay. 
here is when I take that out. I need the fake key, I think, to put in there. Otherwise, I will die. Because uh, I have a feeling that thing moves forward. Those walls come in, and then that handsome chap there with the spiked yeah, with the spiked shield, which you can't quite see there, will come towards me and impale me, so I need to get a key to replace that, so we'll leave that alone for the time being. I remember that puzzle. Okay. I can't do anything in this room for the time being, though. Let's get that out of here. Yeah, so the difference between the item box... Oh, thank you. The difference between having an item box and just having an infant inventory is that you come to a door and you go, oh, this door's locked. Or you come to a puzzle and you go, okay, I need X item. If you have an infant inventory, oh, I've got X item. I can just open this door. I can solve this puzzle. Job done. If you don't have it, it's, oh, I guess I'll just run back to the most recent item box, pick it up and run back again. It doesn't really add anything to the experience. It's just kind of frustrating and... Makes you backtrack a lot. A lot. Hey, there we go. Unlocked it. So, they should at least have the option to turn it off and just have an infant inventory because it's just frustrating. Now oh, I'm back up here. Okay, uh, and this door was locked. Okay, I think I need to go to the new area then. I'm running out of space places to go. Um... I think I'll take this dog out now that I've got some ammo as well. Does this door open actually? Yes it does, okay, I can go through here. The other thing that I think they should have added to this game, which this doesn't have, is a canon ending. The original game, uh, I think the original game and this game have the same amount of endings, I could be wrong. That's why I've got like seven different endings, different combat, based on who survives. Uh, there are four possible survivors, Jill, Chris, Barry and Rebecca. And the endings are sort of based on various different combinations of those four people surviving and there are different ways to do it. None of those endings are canon. Because the canon ending is that all five people survive. And you can't get all five people to survive. It's not possible. Uh, okay, I don't think the shotgun cartridges for the time being anyway. And that is one thing. And we know it's canon because, well, we know it's canon because of... Uh, I have this. Can I just take this apart? There we go. That was easy. I don't know. Use. Our first puzzle. Uh, not much of a puzzle, really. It's just get item A and put item A into slot A. Basically about as challenging as building a piece of flat pack furniture. But that's, you know, that's basically how it goes in this. Oh, these, these are, uh... Do I need to find body parts? This is one of the newer puzzles, so I can't quite remember what I have to do here. But... This is a cool area. Kind of odd for this area. Oh, is it, oh this is... Yeah, I think that's a new boss. Yeah, sure, why not? What's the worst going to happen? Four masks. Mask that cannot speak, smell, or see no evil. Smells no evil. That's okay. So I need the four masks to open up uh, Coffin Boy. There. This uh, this is a cool area. It does seem really out of place in the context of this game. I mean, this is the laboratory where they built. 
mean, this is the Spencer Mansion, where they built... Um, oh, this is also important. There we go, sword key. This is a Spencer man Mansion, which the purpose of which was to... Um, the purpose of which was to investigate the T-Virus. And... There's a lab underneath the facility, and the vi and the mansion itself was kind of the home of all the researchers. And it was built by, I can't remember his first name, but uh, a scientist called Spencer who worked for the Umbrella Corp. Well, it, I don't think I can't remember if he worked exactly specifically for the Umbrella Corporation or if he worked for the corporation that became the Umbrella Corporation. Doggy, are you still here? Yes, there you are. Ah. Uh, get off! You chode. Okay, you're dead. Haha! -ha. I'm gonna spit on your grave for a bit. There is a way to get the uh, knives back out. I think I need the shotgun to do it. I don't know whether it works on dogs either. But I'm good. At least I can come into the uh, into here now without worrying about. Okay, good. Worrying about dog boy there messing me up. So yeah, that that sort of underground area kind of see this this mansion's an old mansion. It's been sort of retrofitted to uh, not retrofitted, um, forward fitted. I don't know what the opposite of what that would be. Anyway, it's been fit to have the mansion, and this was a, the home. This is where all the scientists lived, basically, and kind of spent their days. And the mansion had, you know, Spencer was a quirky fellow, so the mansion had a bunch of puzzles and things and hidden areas because it's an old building. It still seems kind of odd for it to have like an underground pit type area like that with all sort of chains and things. It seems odd just to have all those chains of things. This is the dog corridor, and this is... When I was a kid and playing this, this is probably one of the scariest things I have ever done. Uh, not this, that, that me pushing a cabinet was not the scariest thing. But just coming down here for the first time and not knowing what's going to happen, and then they they mess you up with this and because they don't do it. You expect it and it doesn't happen. I remember now. Ah, oh, this game is wonderful at trolling. Yes, thank you. Hidden handgun magazine. But it will do it later. Or if I hang around here, I can't remember what triggers it. But yeah, this is the dog corridor. Uh, if I come back through here and trigger it, you'll know why. And but again, you should have already played a Resident Evil, a version of Resident Evil, so you should know why it's called the Dog Corridor. And if you don't, you should feel bad about yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, why not watch some of my other videos? And if you've already seen all of them, don't worry, I bring out new ones every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you're never far away from another video. And if you really like them, you could subscribe. And if you really, really like them, you could follow me on Twitter at JackmanPlays. That's it for now. Till next time, citizens. Jackman out.